Hi everyone, this is Quinta 2001 and I have another resin update. And I'm going to start on this side. I made a, a few different color bows. As you can see, there are different sizes and styles. And these are small little hearts. And I made my tie that I ordered from um, Bejeweled Lizard. And it came out really nice. And I have some more bows. And these bows right here are from Bejeweled Lizard. They're the same style, just different colors. And I made some stars. And these tiny little hearts are from... Let me get the mold. They're from this mold. Um, I had filled only the inside, if y'all recall from the previous video. And I thought it would be so cute if I just pop them out like this. And they look so adorable, just these little tiny hearts. And here's a regular piece that I did make. And here are some candies. That one is orange and silver. And here are some more bows. These are from uh, House of Ink. And I made another of those hearts. I also made some lips. Um, a lot of them haven't been um, glazed or sanded down or anything like that. So, And here are my keys. I really love this key. I mean, it is so cute. And I made it in two other colors. And I hope y'all like. And also, um, here is my heart with wings. And I'll tell you about this and, and about the mold. Okay, I bought this mold, right? And... It was coming in the mail, and I was waiting for it, because I was going to um, put Mold Builder on it, and, you know, make my own mold or whatever, but I had saw a video from Pastry Diva that she added a Vaseline in here, that she said she got that idea from Lady Jarhead and she had Vaseline and I did use the q-tip technique to get in all these little crevices and and I popped it out and it looks so awesome I mean it really really works so that really saved me there um, not buying mold builder or anything and, uh, and I left the mold hole I didn't cut it up or anything like that and I did put a blocker at the end so that way it doesn't like run. But I'm so excited that I learned about that tip because I didn't know. And my heart with wings came out really awesome. I had no problem popping them out. I mean, they came out really well. All I did was sand down the bottom a little bit just to fix it. But it's so cute. And also, here is the Santa Fe Confetti, and the back is orange. And here is my other panda head. And I freaking love glitter, because look how shiny it is. I mean, it's beautiful. If I could, I'd bathe in glitter. <laughs> but, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> And here is my heart that I had uh, the zebra print on. And it has the multi-glitter with silver. And it looks so pretty, especially when it shines. And I also made uh, this white one. And I'm going to add this multi-colored bow in the middle. I think it will look so pretty like that. That's that heart with a bow. And that concludes my Risen update. And I hope you like my video. And I just want to say uh, thank you to all the craft people out there for um, putting tips out there and um, what could work best and what helps. Because 
this freaking worked and it was totally awesome. I was so shocked because I have tried before on other things and it has not worked and I couldn't find a solution until I saw that one video and voila! Here we are right now. This beautiful mold. And it's so cute. And I could probably make duplicates on a real mold but I don't mind, you know, rubbing Vaseline in here and before pouring, so that's it. And I love my panda. <laughs> I just freaking love it. Uh, I'm still working on my camera. Uh, I did the front blue and the back silver. The final, I don't know yet what color it's going to be. Um... Maybe I could do it pink. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, this is how it looks. And I'm going to stick a picture in here. Which would be my daughter's picture. So I will let you know how that one turns out tomorrow. I hope you like my resident update. And I will talk to everyone later. Bye.